<sighs> what was me? No. <laughs> it's the worst way to start a video. Um, <laughs> hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oxfu. And I knew, I know, last time I said, hey, we're gonna go into that red tornado, but I was crazy. Don't listen to me. I was, I'm not gonna go into that tornado right away. We're severely underleveled to go into that tornado. Severely. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. We're not moving on to Venus Lighthouse before we fight whatever it might be in that tornado. Because, I mean, we got four people. And I'm betting what's ever in that tornado, tornado, again, based off of the other tornadoes we've seen, only has one. But, fact is, I... Actually, let's go to items and use that. I was a bit of a dumb. I'll admit it right now. I was dumb. I forgot that once we liberated Lunpa, we could actually buy items. And those items are more powerful than what we, can, we could get in Tolby. So I'm going to see you guys in a few minutes in the little township of Lunpa. Hopefully for the last time. All right, here we are, back in Lunpa, and now I think if we actually talk to people... A, a large contingent of Dodonpa's henchmen have left the fortress. I don't, I don't remember what accent I gave you. I think he gave you, like, a New Yorker accent or something like that. They say that Dodonpa's the the henchmen were defeated, and that makes me feel like all my problems are washed away. <laughs> this is probably the worst little kid voice I've ever done. Uh, but yeah, now we find out that, hey... Oh, it's God cold. I'm shivering just standing here. Now we found out that hey, all the Deden the Dunpas henchmen have have left. There have been intruders. Oh my God! What caused a commotion in the fortress? Someone snuck into the fortress and saved much and hand. In the end, they failed, so they just ran away. Anyway, uh, now we can actually go in and be like, hey, ask me anything about armor, and I'll be like, yeah, I will, and I'll be like, oh. You've got quite a good bit of armor, and we're not going to take that kimono away from uh, Garrett, because I bet he looks lovely in it. Or any of that. Actually, is there anything- Ah! Ha ha! War gloves, that's what we wanted to get. Alright, so 4,000 coins, that's not- that's- that's not too expensive, but let's check the weapons, because that's what we're really here for. Yeah, the great sword that we already have. Uh, the Great Axe that we already have. All this stuff we already have. Or was it in artifacts that I need to check? Ah, Shamshir, here we go. Shamshir, Ninja Blade. Ivan's gonna be getting that. The Elven Rapier, we already <laughs> sold that to him a while ago. Is it Dragon Axe we want to get? Yeah, I think it's a Dragon Axe. And then Vulcan Axe we already had a while ago. We had that on Garrett. Uh, any new... There is the Demonic Staff, but this is cursed, actually. And we're not going to actually be using it for long if we get it. Um, We're going to get some cursed items later. So I can just show you guys then. So right now I'm actually just not going to... Oh, son of a gun. Ah, uh, sell the nut. We're never gonna... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sell the, uh... Sell the lucky metals. We're never gonna use those again. We don't need them. Anyway, we're gonna buy that Shamshir for Isaac, and he's gonna like it. Because look at Boos' attack by 13 points, and that's quite a lot. I mean, it's, it's decent enough. Game ticket. I don't care about your game tickets. We're never gonna go back to Tolby after today. Actually, we ne we're never gonna go back to Tolby after like two weeks ago. Come on. Yeah, just take the Assassin's Blade. Ta I'll take the game ticket, but I'm gonna sell it right back to you. I'll take the Dragon Axe. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not gonna have it in a few in a few episodes, because we're gonna get better stuff. Of course, 
nobody's gonna have what they have now in a few episodes, because we're gonna get better stuff, but it's it's enough to get us through the Suhala Desert. <laughs> Alright, so what do we wanna get? We wanna get war gloves, that's what we're here for. That's right, that's right. Alright. So five points. That's enough that I'm not going to Ooh, that's enough that I'm not gonna try- that I'm not gonna get rid of the Earth Shield. But, I think Garrett could use these Battle Gloves quite a bit. So he's gonna get those, and he's gonna lose his Battle Gloves. Or, no, he needs a War Gloves, you know, upgrade his Battle Gloves, because it comes out- What do they- what do they always say? You, you've won the battle, but uh, you haven't won the war! So, I think that's it. I think that is it. So we're just gonna sell you back the game tickets you gave us. Get like 148 coins. It's like pocket change now. Running out of inventory space. So I'll sell you the smoke bomb too. I'm gonna keep the lure cap because I'm weird and we got it as a special thing and I'm never gonna use it anyway, so. Eh. I'm gonna hold on to it for some reason. Why did not? Why did I not sell those? Is there anything else that I forgot to sell? Jeez. Oh, wait a minute. Spirit armor. We're keeping you. It's only two points. But uh, silver armlet. Not good enough. Silver helm. Yeah, we're gonna buy some of these. That's right. That's what we need to do. Yes, I don't want your game tickets, I'm gonna sell them back to you. God! <sighs> there we go, thank you. Thank you, okay. Platinum circlet, last two things. Last two things. Yes. I don't want the game ticket. God, haven't you gotten that through your thick skull? I've said it for the last five items. Good. Yes, thank you, don't give me another one. I won't come again. Ever. Again. Because I don't ever want to see this town again. We spent too much time here. Alright, so I'll see I'll see you guys back in the Suhala Desert. Woo! In a minute. Alright, there you go. I've been waiting for you, Isaac. We should go to Babby Lighthouse soon. Indeed we shall. So now we have Eodem back. And we're in the, uh, we're getting to Gondwin again. I f almost called it uh, Angara, <laughs> but that's where we're from. Um, random battle, gonna run. Never mind. I'm not gonna run. I guess I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Okay, not really a lot of damage, but I'm gonna take decent damage. All right. Yeah, I can. I can. I can dig. Um, ooh, acid bath. I forgot that's what its special attack was. Jeez. Mauled twice in a row, Garrett. How you feeling? Well, well, Chuck. I, I'm feeling great. <laughs> My name's not Chuck, Garrett. My name's not Chuck. Alright, let's... Come on, come on, come on. Heat Mirage. 152 damage. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, I think we're... I think we are ready to take on the Suhala Desert. Right after this nap. Oh man, I am bushed. I am. Oh, oh, oh! That felt good. <laughs> I did sleep well. Thank you. I will have a nice trip. All right. So now I will begin the official episode because that was just filler at the beginning. What we do today is well, what I had planned was to level up a bit, because right now I think we're all, except for Ivan, level 23, I think actually he'll level up during this battle, because I was trying very hard to actually grind a little while, r before I started the episode, because I'm a little under leveled. 22 is pretty low. I mean, I'm a, I'm pretty much exactly the level this guy is right now that we're fighting. I mean, it's not really low, but I wanted to level up like one level or two, just because it would make things a little bit more easy. 
Uh, but no. <laughs> My game decided to freeze on me while I was trying that, and... Eh, you know, it just didn't work out. By the way, if you kill these guys with a uh, Venus Gin, I found this out, you actually get more experience. So, 806 as opposed to like 700 and something. We got a Weasel's Claw, which... I don't remember. I think this is non-elemental damage. It acts basically the same as the Bramble Seed, the Douse Drop, or the uh, Oil Drop, I think that it's called. It might be uh, Jupiter damage. Wind damage. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, anyway, which way do we have to go? We want to go the right path, that's right. We had to do this all last, last episode! Don't you love when you just have to go through places again? In fact, I probably could have met you guys back at the, back at that boss, that optional boss. He's not, he's not actually the boss. This is not how we get out of the Suhala Desert. This is actually leading to a completely different thing. But one of the things I like about the Suhala Desert, and one of the things that this game does well, as opposed to a lot of other, um, RPGs is it actually it actually shows you side things rather than just being like oh hey by the way these couple of people are talking about a side thing maybe you could go and check it out which I think makes it more tantalizing <laughs> um, well it definitely makes it more tantalizing but I may I think it gives you a better reason to actually go out of your way and do those side missions rather than just oh well I hear that I could go this way and complete more of the game I think I'll try um, rather as I'll show you in a second once we get past a couple of the more of these battles uh, they actually show you where you're gonna be fighting the boss they it's not they don't actually show you the boss which I like even more they show you that red whirlwind from the end of last episode and I think that's an even better way to use the to use the game to actually drive the side quest along because you don't have to do it at all um, it leads you to another area I'll spoil a little bit I won't spoil what area because it's a big part of what we're gonna be doing for the end of the game um, but it leads you to an area separate from this one. Where was I going with this? It doesn't lead you out of the Suhala Desert. That's where I was going with this. Um, because we haven't actually seen the exit to the Suhala Desert yet. Uh, that will be in a while. Actually, I'm going to use... Ember? You will remember my name. Ah, uh, Danny Phantom references. <laughs> uh, I love the first couple. I think it was just the first season of Danny Phantom that I loved the most. Because that was so... Badly written, it was good. It was one of those... I, I think it was early 2000s, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like 2004, something like that. It was Okay, so mid-2000s. It was one of those mid-2000 shows that ended up kind of riding the wave of 90s teen sitcoms, as in it was trying to be them to try to be accessible to... Like, try to, try to be those sitcoms for a younger audience, almost. And I, I love that about Danny Phantom, until like the second episode, or second season and so comes out, and then tries to be a more serious show, and it gets kind of full of itself. My favorite character is always Jack Fenton, because he's ridiculous. Anyway, you're going to see as we come up now, or after we fight this Harridan, after we fight this Harridan, there we go. Anyway, you're gonna see, as we come up now, there's that little region off to the right, and you're like, oh my god. What, what is that? How do I get to it? How? Uh, what? 
Alright, run away. No, come on, run away. I don't want to fight these guys right now. I'm in the middle of an explanation as, what, as to why I think this is so cool. Like, it's... One of the few things that I think this, this game does better than any other RPGs, because it almost... It almost makes it feel more like an action game than an RPG. Um, like, the, the maps and the overworld in this are very, very well done. I mean, yeah, the RPG is kind of simplistic, but this makes up for it. But you remember how we saw those those footprints that lead you up here to the Mars Gen? Well, you, you go up here, and you're, you're still thinking, like, oh, okay, how do I get to that? Like, I, I don't see any way up there. And you see this cave, and you go through, and it's like, oh, man. Maybe this will lead to it. It's all spooky-like, because it's got the torches and everything, and you come back out, and you're like, oh my god. That's so cool. And then you check to reveal, because you're like, okay, this is, this looks a little different than the, than the tornadoes I've fought already, so maybe this is a little harder. Which it is, which is why I'm going to save. Because this guy's hard. And you're like, hmm, maybe... Because he's a, he, I think he's gonna be a little harder. Maybe I should set a few gin so that you know I, I won't I won't be screwed over when I fight him. So you're thinking like, okay, what do I need? I'm low, a little low on PP, so I'm gonna leave Ember. Oh man, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave Kite because he he's useful. I'm gonna leave Flash because. Those guys that create walls, those, those really let you get a, a bit more hits in. Uh, soothing the party HP, that's going to be good. And I think dropping the defense will be good, too. So, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I screwed that up. We're going to set Squall, and we're going to take Breeze off, because this guy does a lot of Jupiter damage. And then we're like, oh crap, we forgot to heal everybody up. Do all the heals. There we go. Mia's a hurting a little on uh, Synergy, but that's okay. I think we should be good. So I'm going to save just one more time, just to make sure that we're all set. Then we're going to go in and we're going to be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're going to douse. And... Boom. Optional boss battle. Now this guy is the hardest guy you can fight in this desert. Um, this is the reason why we are severely underleveled. So, um, alright, first things first. God, my dog will not shut up. My dog will not shut up. That's what you hear in the background, the barking. <laughs> I'm going to kill that dog. No, I'm not going to kill that dog. That's terrible. I love that dog. But you're gonna unle unleash flash. This will this will be good because we can't we we will get hit for like nothing. And then we're like, oh crap! Why did we use Thor? Because oh, 500 damage. That's pretty good actually. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I also don't know why I'm speaking in like the 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 second plur second person pl no first person plural. <laughs> That's kind of weird. All right. So judgment should do quite a bit. I don't know how much health this guy has, that's the problem. Like, we should be able to take him down in just a few turns, but... A little bit worried. I think we set up, uh... I think I. Why do I keep going into the second plural person? What, do I think I'm king or something? No, I think, um... I set it up well enough... That we'll be taking, um... Pathetic bits of damage like that. So we're gonna do granite. Janet, uh, because that's that's gonna that's gonna make us last a little bit longer. Meteor, that's what we need. All right, I think Bind might be the way to go, just because he can do quite a bit of damage. And we're gonna go with defense. We can do quite a bit of damage with this synergy, so this is probably the good, the best way to go. Damn it! Uh, if that had, if that had affected him, oh, it would have been perfect. Oh, great! And he increased his attack power. But you know what? We're we're shooting a space rock at you. What are you gonna do against that? 
Apparently plenty, because you're not dead. <laughs> oh shoot, he realized what we're doing. Well, no, obviously not really realized, but... Um, he was too smart for us. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we want to get? We want to get a kite going on uh, Ivan so he can attack twice next round. And then we'll get Breeze off, because I believe Ivan is still faster than him. Which is very helpful. Aha! We can lull you into a deep sleep. That will actually really help. It'll maybe make you useless for a turn? No, you're gonna be fine. That is not good. Ooh, look at that damage. That's a lot of damage compared to how many, uh, how much HP we actually do have. Great. Great. His defense is set back to normal. Okay, we've got two guys set. Alright, sap. Okay, then we can get some HP back. Um, I'm thinking Ember. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with Ember. Because HP is always a good idea. Alright, first things first. We're gonna go with Zephyr, or Breeze, and then we're gonna go... We should probably go with Zephyr. We should probably go with Zephyr. I'm not going to, though, because I'm a rebel who don't play by the... By the I'm a rebel who doesn't play by the rules. No, I'm not gonna use Zephyr, because... I mean, I'm not gonna use... Yeah, I'm not gonna use Zephyr, because agility won't do much. That resistance should help, though, against this energy. Well, what do you know? I didn't even need to do that. Anyway, that is 1,700 experience points, and let's see, level 23 Squire, level 23 Soldier, who else leveled up? Come on, come on, more people had to have leveled up. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, that didn't actually do much. Um, we actually have to leave the desert and come back in order to uh, realize its full potential. No, in order to... Um, actually be transported out but we're not gonna be we're not we're, we're gonna be uh waiting on that because we are not actually able to go through the place where it lets us out we're able to go through like half of it i think but not more so anyway that was what was that the tempest i think that was the tempest lizard anyway i will see you guys next time on Let's play Golden Sun with Mio Expo, because I think we've been going for quite a while now. Um, I mean, come on, an optional boss battle, and all that crap we had to do in Lunpa, and a little bit of backtracking. I'm sure we're past 20 minutes by now. I mean, I've been making these things longer because I want to finish this LP soon, because I've got something planned for October. And in half a year when people are watching this, for because people have stumbled upon the video or something like that. They're gonna be like, okay, this is like February now. God, you dated this video. <laughs> oh, I hate, I hate actually mentioning dates <laughs> in videos. It's just a personal thing. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Miox Fu. Take it easy.